everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, this is Making It Happen with Mary and I am Mary. Before we get started, if you would please be so kind as to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below because I want you to be part of my Mary Makers community, darn it. Now come on. Today's video, I went ahead and I ordered some more perfume oils from Sugar Milk Co. If you are unfamiliar with Sugar Milk Co., they are freaking outstanding. They're a small, I think it's a family-owned business based out of Texas. They are only open online, I think, two weekends a month, I think. And it's usually from like a Thursday to a Sunday. If you sign up for their email, they will email you ahead of time letting you know that they are going to be open for a restock because these things sell out like super fast. I don't know if it's been on TikTok or whatnot because I'm not really on TikTok, but I can tell you that if it opens on Thursday and you wait to go on till Saturday, almost all of it's going to be sold out. So if you sign up for the email and they said that, you know, it's, hey, we're open for a restock Thursday through Sunday, don't wait till Sunday or Saturday to go on there. Get your butt on there Thursday or Friday because you're going to miss out. So anyway, they do send you, I'm covering my address. <laughs> they do send it in a really cute little, you know, box or, or a bag like this that's sealed. Um, they always, I love that they put these little stickers on them all the time. I think it's so freaking cute. The inside, it was packed with a bunch of confetti, 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 which I did take out and empty um, because it was all over my kitchen floor. I have not opened these yet. They came like this, so they're sealed because I wanted to do this with you guys on here. So we are opening it right now. And we are going to test these puppies together. I did order three, which they wrap them very, very well. They're super duper wrapped. I am going to hang on to this wrapping paper because, I mean, it's wrapping paper and, or tissue paper. And God knows how much of that I go through. So I am going to be holding on to that. I ordered three. I ordered the grape cotton candy. I got Princess Buttermint, which is kind of an odd, I don't know if you guys, I don't know. I feel like the light is just like playing games here. Princess Buttermint. And then I also did get the Melon Soda. And here's like a better shot of that grape cotton candy. Yeah. Okay. So I think we are going to start with the grape cotton candy. They always do say to shake well before each use. So shake, shake, shake. In fact, let's shake all of them up really good. All right. So let's try out this grape cotton candy, which I'm super excited for. I have the perfect lotion I'm going to pair this with. So let's see here. Oh my God. It smells like grape popsicle to me. Oh, yeah, I'm liking this. Oh, it's so good, you guys. Yeah, this is a good one. It's like that sweet grape type of a popsicle, like the grape popsicles that you get like in the single popsicles or even the kind you break apart. Oh, it is so good. And I have a perfect lotion from uh, Goose Creek, which I have been waiting to find something that I could pair with this. And this is from Goose Creek and it is grape soda body lotion. Yes, I know. Grape soda body lotion, right? Oh, but it's so good. And I didn't really have a good perfume or even anything that I really thought could go with this. Now I do. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's really, really good. That's really, really good, you guys. Oh, I love that. Yes, it definitely is sweet, grapey goodness. Highly recommend grape cotton candy. Now we are going to go with Princess Buttermint. I'm imagining this this smells like those after dinner mints, the kind that like dissolve and melt away in your in your mouth. So let's try this out. I'm a little nervous. Oh, this is good. Very minty. 
very minty, like a sugary minty, but it almost kind of reminds me of Bath and Body Works, their eucalyptus uh, aromatherapy, but sweeter. Kind of like Twisted Peppermint from Bath and Body Works. That's, that's what this reminds me of. Definitely opens up your nasal passages. Oh my goodness, if you were stuffed up, you're not going to be after this. Woo! This is really, really good. If you like Twisted Peppermint by Bath and Body Works or the Eucalyptus, but I think this is closer to the Twisted pep pep Pester. Twisted Pester? <laughs> Twisted Peppermint? I can't talk today. This is definitely closer to Twisted Peppermint. But if you wanted an actual perfume to go with that Twisted Peppermint, like to dab it behind your ears or you're on your wrist, to really kind of, you know, I enjoy the scent of peppermint. Oh, this is good. But this is sweet. It is like a sweet mint. Oh, I really like this. Whoo! Oh, yeah, this is good. Princess Buttermint for the win, for the win. And then the last one I have for you guys here is Melon Soda, which I was very curious about this. Because I'm going, hmm, what kind of melon is this going to be? Which I have a huge Sugar Milk Co. collection. I don't know if you guys can see them, but they're right here. Whoop, whoop, there they are. And there's probably, let me go count. There's 14 of them there. And with these three, I now have 17 Sugar Milk Co. perfume oils. <laughs> To say I'm addicted and have a little bit of an addiction issue is an understatement, my friend. <laughs> oh, well, it is what it is. Hey, we're all addicted to something. It could be far worse. So anyway, let's try out this melon soda. I'm going to go ahead and make sure my hand is clean here. Let's get, I'm using a makeup wipe to get it off. Okay, so we're going to try this one on this hand. There is that melon soda. I'm going to rub it in. Oh, I can already kind of smell this, you guys. This is different. And when I say different, I mean a good different. Hold on, let me air this out a little bit. This is beautiful. Like, it is beautiful. I think a lot of people, when they had their last restock, they slept on this one. This is kind of like a cantaloupe honeydew soda. If that probably does not sound good, but when you smell this, it's fresh. It's like how the rind smells. It's very fresh, very delicious. Like it almost smells edible. This kid, he wants to get cracked while I'm making these videos. I know you saw that hand peep in here. <laughs> Anthony, you want to come smell these? Smell what? My new uh, sugar milk co's. Do you want to smell them? Come here. Mm, All right, come here. Anthony is joining us, ladies and gentlemen. This is my youngest son, Anthony. This is the new... Okay, Mommy got three new ones. I got melon soda, princess buttermint, and grape cotton candy. So this is the new one, melon soda. Let's, I'll have you smell that. It smells like watermelon. Oh, you think it smells like watermelon? Yeah, slightly. I think it smells like more like honeydew and cantaloupe. Yeah, she knows. Yeah, you see it? Mm, yeah. okay. So now you wanna smell these other two? He's growing his hair out, so don't mind. I know his hair looks a little crazy right now, but he wants to grow his hair out. Here, let me help you, honey. I wasn't expecting to have you join me today. <laughs> All right, this is Princess Buttermint. Have you smelled Princess Buttermint? Mint. Mint? Just mint? It just smells like mint? Mm, slight hint of butter. Oh, you think it has a little bit of butter? Kind of, yeah. I wonder where you're getting that from. Maybe the name, Buttermint. <laughs> yeah, it smells like it has butter. It has butter in it. Maybe it's like, like a sweeter kind of a peppermint. Come over this way so I can see you better. 
And then this one is grape cotton candy, which I'll put it on my wrist so it's not, okay. Grape. Is it yummy? I like it. You like it? Okay. I think it'll go good with this lotion I have from Goose Creek. Smell the lotion. Yeah, it'd go. Yeah. It'd match. It would match? Yeah. So out of these three, Anthony, the grape cotton candy, the melon soda, or the princess buttermint, what do you think your favorite was? Melon soda. Oh, you like the melon soda? All right. There you go. Second favorite? Grape cotton candy. The grape, and then the last would be buttermint. Mm -hmm. All right, we're back on. Thank you so much for your uh, input, sir. <laughs> From the mouse of babes. He has quite a nice scent palette. He loves scent. So for me, that melon is absolutely beautiful. He is right. It is really good. I think I'm going to go with Anthony and go with melon soda as my favorite out of these three followed by the grape cotton candy, and then princess buttermint last. Now this is good, so I'm not saying last like it's bad. It is good, but just my, I think come winter, this may be more of a favorite than these two are right now, because these are kind of, you know, it's end of summer. I'm still in like the summer mode. I'm not trying to get too into fall and winter yet, but it's right around the corner. Mm, it's right around the corner, so yes. But I think, this definitely, this Princess Buttermint, it definitely has a very sweet component to it. I think what he was calling butter in this is like a sugary, like how a buttermint smells, the kind that dissolve in your mouth. A very sweet, like very sugary mint. Yeah, this is good. This is good. I ain't gonna lie. In fact, I think in the wintertime, paired with Twisted Peppermint, it's gonna be banging. So, Woohoo! The grape cotton candy, I'm definitely pairing with Goose Creek, and I will let you know about that. And then this melon soda, I think will pair very, very well with Summer Melody from Bath and Body Works. I think, even though I have the perfume and everything else, I think this will pair very well with that. I think it'll also pair very well with uh, Pink Watermelon Blast. Probably um, regular Pink Watermelon will probably go really, really well with. Um, maybe even a few other ones, which I'm going to play around with this and see what happens with this. But I think this is a really, really good one. So, yes, if you have not checked out Sugar Milk Co., please go check them out. They are, again, a small family-owned business based out of Texas. They are amazing. And if you'd be interested in seeing all of my Sugar Milk Co. products, because... I don't just have, I do have all these perfumes over here, which I now have 17, but I also did another video where I was talking about their body custards. So go check that out. It was like when I first got on YouTube back like in March, April, I posted that. So, cause that's when I joined YouTube and started making videos at least was back in March of this year. So I haven't been on here very long doing this. Okay. So Go check it out. The video quality may not be as good. I may not have been as good on here as I am now, but definitely check it out because their body custards are banging. I am going to lie. I am going to lie. So yes, thank you so much for joining me, you guys. If you like this video, please hit that like button down below. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And uh, Ding that bell so you are alerted every time I upload. All right, you guys, that's all I got, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.